Okay, so I'm back and I think I've got the glue gun ready and so we're gonna look at just putting just hot glue here and uh, attaching attaching this little piece this leg and hopefully that will allow me to pull that dent right out if I can get it right in the center so if this works it's gonna be the best thing since sliced bread so uh, here we go so I've got the hot glue right here and I'm gonna just load this thing up good I really am not sure how much to use but Heck, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, that's not good. My gun broke. Well, we'll go ahead and pop that on there and see if we can get it started. Maybe that'll hold. Don't know. That's not cool. My hot glue gun just broke. I felt it snap. Maybe I can still make some progress. I think I can press it through with my thumb. Well, this was uh, either me putting too much force or maybe the quality of the gun. So let's see what happens there. Maybe we can, maybe we can still make some progress. It's got to come off. So get this positioned, and then uh, why I'm not too terribly bent out of shape here is in my mind. I think I know that I have another glue gun, another craft gun of my wife's uh, right over in my workshop. So so I can't see why that that probably wouldn't do the same thing this well. So I'll get that out in a minute. Um, so, you see what I did here? How I fitted that, got these feet angled to the tank, and, uh, and I'm just kind of spinning that down. I don't know how long to give that. I think that glue probably, probably hardened pretty quick, but uh, we'll give it a moment or two, and then uh, I'll start pulling up, see what happens. And hopefully we'll see, uh, see some progress. So, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm anxious. Here we go. May not be enough glue and I feel it tightening. I feel it tightening. Actually, I see, I see it moving up. Oh me, this might actually work. I see, I can see the tank, uh, I can see the tank changing. The size of that dent is changing and it's coming up. This is pretty cool. Now, what it takes to hold it, I don't know, uh, but uh, whether this is going to be the perfect fix, don't know, but it is definitely pulling that dent up, and I see it happening. That is actually quite cool, quite cool. I think uh, from what I can see right there, that dent is almost fixed. Huh. That was well worth 12 bucks. Huh. I got most of it. Certainly did. Got most of it. We'll do that again. We'll pop it one more time. And I think that dent may be fixed. So there you have it. Okay, well, it's only been a couple of minutes, excuse all my junk here in the basement, this is where I store everything, I really don't live like a, like a junkyard here, but from what you see on the video, it looks that way. Okay, so, so this dent is significantly improved uh, from where it was. So I'm going to use this same gun that just broke a while ago, and I'm going to see if I can just force that glue on here just by squeezing on the back, and it does. It's working fine. I'm just pressing on the glue stick. Here we go. Let's try it again. I'm going to go right into what looks like the center of that dent, and we will pull right there until she pops. That is like way cool. I have another little dent over here now. I'm wondering if I can pull that one out as well. It's a little more aggressive, but this works so well that what the heck? So well, I'm going to stop right here for a moment. I'm getting a phone call that I need to take, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Took my phone call. My wife needed to speak to me. Uh, 
the, the way that the way this worked on that first dent, that was about the coolest thing since sliced bread. So let's hook it up again and see if uh, if we can get the same kind of results. Okay, get these positioned in a nice spot. Looks like a pretty good spot for those. And here we go. Let's see what we can do this time. I'm just amazed at how well this works. It's getting tighter. It's pulling up. I don't think there's going to be much to do after this. Hopefully it won't put a new dent the other way. It'll pull off something out. And it's getting very tight. I feel that. At some point I think it's got to pop loose. Hmm. I don't know if I need to keep going until it pops or what. I've not done this before. That may be enough. I may hit it with the uh, fluid here and break that loose. That may already have done it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's hit it with the release fluid and see how long it takes that to break loose and see if we see if we got it or not. Here in a second. Whoa. And it did. Well, scared me. I don't see any damage, so I think we may be okay. And I don't see any dent either. So I think we have just succeeded at completely repairing. A dent on this VT600 cycle. I don't see much left to be done here. This looks pretty good to me. So I'll look at it and I'm not a body guy but I'm learning. So you guys uh, feel free to Feel free to learn from this, and I hope you find it insightful. But, uh, I got the idea by watching some other folks, and so I am appreciative that they took the time to post it and show these ideas. And my hope is that you can use this as well. So uh, we'll finish this up. It might be just a little bit now. Pull up, not much, but it looks much better. I don't think most people will ever notice that. And I'm going to move on to the other dent. Cool. Okay, well, um, I am very pleased with the way this dent pulling has worked out. Unfortunately, while I was working a while ago, uh, the one main round puller that I was using, I guess, I put enough stress on it and it broke, so I won't be using that anymore. I still have the small one left, and so uh, hopefully it will last long enough to work on this little dent over here. So I'm going to try that next. But uh, this is much, much, much better and for the cost. Uh, Here's what we're looking at. Got a dent right here. This dent appears to have been caused as this, uh, as the fork rotated around. I would suspect during whatever caused the wreck, as this fork came around, looks like this section of the fork banged into the tank. Looks like that was allowed to happen because as this part of the fork banged into the bottom part of the of the stem that it did some, I guess, bent a little bit there and allowed that to happen. So we're going to try to fix that. And so that's what I'm going to work on next. Okay, so here we go. I've gone ahead and uh, I've gotten the, the puller set up here. If we can figure out the right angle of attack. Loosen that a little. Loosen that a little and we'll start thinking through. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe about like that feels pretty good. And I don't know that there's a clear way to do this, but a uh, particular principle to apply, but that's what my gut tells me. And then the 
absence of an engineering principle, I often go with my gut. So you're right about there. Okay. Let that sit a little bit. Make sure it's Get set a minute. Set up good. Make sure these feet are positioned well. And then we'll start pulling. With the exception, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. Well, that one's aren't pulled loose. Oh, crap. That pulled paint off. That is not cool. That is not cool. 